वेलकम टू सॉफ्ट डेमी टुडे माय लेक्चर इज ऑन हाउ टू क्रिएट यूजर डिफाइंड फील्ड एंड हाउ टू असाइन ग्लोबल चेंजेस इन आवर यूजर डिफाइंड फील्ड्स टू फिल अप विद टेक्स्ट कॉस्ट एंड अदर इंडिकेटर्स एंड समथिंग टू शो अप इन आवर टेबल्स एंड टू इंडिकेट अबाउट आवर एक्टिविटी स्टेटस एंड टू क्रिएट अ न्यू कॉलम इन आवर टेबल by user defined field and maintain it by global changes so here we open primavera p6 first of all i remove all the unnecessary columns so here i open my user defined field here you can see this one user defined field i already added a lot of user defined field for my projects so i will show you an example how i add user defined field so user defined field may be about activity resource assignment or activity steps or issues there are maybe wbs you can add a wbs user defined field whatever you like for so for activities i will add a user defined field here and i will add a critical activity and here i add a text for that one critical activity here i add this one and now i add uh, text for text this one no any other number indicator finish we don't need anything else and i will close this one and now i will go for there right click on there and column and from here user defined field you find the three columns baseline 3 baseline 3 start finish and the next one the last one i added critical critical activity here you can see all the three columns i have added in the last one finish and this one is start okay so you can see the three columns i have added critical activity and bl3 finish bl3 start so for example it's custom column we can create custom column for what we lack in our project and what we have to bring in our project so first we go for then we go for tools and here you can see in the tools here in this you can see global change this one word option global change and you can also go there for global change from this option and add and remove and you can add global change from there you can also click on there you can go from there into global change so you can modify it or create new one we will create new one here you can see a new window open modify global change and we will work on activities subject subject of activities and we will give a name here we write a critical activity or uh, here i write following total float what should be if here you can see modify modify it and i write here critical critical activity and then i write here total float total float and total float is less than or equal to zero and then 
what should happen if then else then what should happen then activity critical activity which i added the my user define column here then what should be its parameter i will add custom text here critical activity is in red we can write everything what we want to be in text here we can and we can write anything else mm, critical we can write parameter value anything and we can add if it's not in this case parameter not fall in this parameter what should be the critical we'll go for the critical activity critical activity then we can write here then we can write here activity in green so and non critical when we change okay apply changes yes now you can see new value is activity is in red critical we don't have any old value and red and non critical commit changes so after committing changes you see the column i have added is will be filled with this one so apply changes yes when you commit changes would you like to save the log we say no we can close this one but we will see here activity is red and critical this one is red and critical red and green and non critical you see hold the you can write this in one sentence only global change if i change the language uh, here i go critical activity modify here and i delete this one text we can apply one or more into one case on one column and delete this one delete this one and activity is in red we can also write here here there okay apply changes proceed yes here is only changes commit changes log no here you can see in this column activity is green activity is in red so we can also make changes to its convert this one into we can also make changes this file into longest path but i will not change i will go for user defined field here i add another user defined field add here cost increment or cost variation we can write here and we go for for cost here and okay a mistake cost cost variation you can see here cost here you can see cost variation and the field should be in cost i close this one and i right click here column i will add this one i will add here cost variation in the last column you can see cost variation in dollars showing i will go for global change here i add new 
after you go for then if in this column what we should write here no cancel changes yes add here the parameter the name of our user defined field is cost variation cost variation and is equal to total or budgeted is equal to budgeted total cost and should be multiplied by a factor custom one point one zero or one five change yes here you can see its changes commit change it and no log okay close this one cost variation it's one one point one five variation in every activity so this one is the total budgeted cost and here you can see in every value it's added this cost variations so i will go for again columns i remove this both columns variation and this one okay we here we open global chain and here we can see other other i uh, global chain default global changes here here you can see if activity start with start with zero minute or this id mn or you can change the id here and if id remaining duration is zero hour and budgeted cost is 1.1 1 .1 parameter will be applied here and there are increased duration you can increase the durations and decrease units top down there are many parameters here i have already assigned in global changes so this is my lecture about how to apply global changes and how to create user defined fields in primavera p6 we have to make custom user defined fields and we can manage our custom def user defined fields by applying global changes by taking indicators cost and taxes like, comment, share and subscribe the channel. Press the bell icon for latest upcoming notifications. See you in next video.